Oh, the great outdoors. Oh, wow, look at that hawk. Catch, catch, catch it right there. See it? Oh, yeah. Oh, just colors, the green. Look at those plants. Looky here. Oh, yeah. Those, those, not gonna touch those. Those look itchy. Beauty, beauty everywhere. Oh, hey. How are you doing today, folks? I just figured that since I'm in the great outdoors that I'd like to talk some more about photography. Can you see me? Oh, here we go. Whoopsie daisies. Put this down. <clears throat> if you don't know me, my name is Duann and I would like to take you on a little talk about photography. Film photography to be exact. Because lots of you have questions and answers. Come along. Welcome back. Two things have happened. I have a very, very, very painful bug bite. I don't know of what insect, but it hurts real bad and it's stinging and it's welting. And I got engaged. Okay, so the camera that I primarily use is a Minolta SRT 101. It was my dad's, so it means a lot to me. It's a 28 millimeter 2.5 lens. So simple, simple. And this camera in general is like a pretty basic camera. I've seen it on eBay for like $10, $15. It does, it does the job and it helps me learn and grow and find my eye and, and have fun. The funny thing is on this trip to Northern California, on this trip to Northern California, I, <laughs> We stopped at a thrift store and I found a lens that is actually a zoom lens, which is amazing. So I've been playing with it on this trip and it's a 35 to 75 millimeter lens that fits on my camera and it's perfect. So hopefully for my roll of film that I have in here, I'll have a bunch of different, different shots. The film that I really like to use is Kodak 400 Ultramax. That's the film that I pretty much always have in my camera. Um, I also love playing with expired film. I find a lot of Kodak 200 on like eBay that's been expired. The fun thing about expired film is that you don't really know what you're gonna get. Sometimes the colors get a little bit more faded or whatever it is, it's just it's a treat to shoot on expired film and see how it, it comes out. I try to shoot on expired film that's not more than 10 years old, so I'm, that's just an, another thing. But also, I like to shoot on black and white film, and I really like Ilford HP5, um, I believe it's called, and 400 film. That is the film that I have in my camera right now, so a lot of my nature shots from this trip will be in black and white, so I'm really excited to to see those. In regards to getting my film developed and scanned, um, I get a lot of questions about that. I live in Brooklyn, so I usually go to a place called Kubis. It's in Greenpoint or the Color House, which is I think on the Lower East Side. I always get it developed and I get it scanned to either a CD or a USB so that I can just plop it into my computer and see them on my computer and then also airdrop them to my phone so I can post them on Instagram. The wonderful thing about film is I actually never I never edit my photos because I just love how the color comes out. Um, just shooting the past few years, it makes me notice a lot about my surroundings. Old buildings or just clouds, nature, plants. I don't know, I just feel like I pay more attention because I'm like, oh, I wanna capture that. When you are out and about, really take in shadows because shadows just look so beautiful on film and complementary colors. I've talked about in my other photography vlog, my favorites are blue and orange. Whenever I see blue and orange somewhat near each other, I get really excited because it just looks so beautiful captured on film. In regards to lighting, I go more into detail about it, like technical detail in my other vlog, but just in general, I like using this app on my phone, it's just called Light Meter. It's, it's pretty simple and it's, so, it's pretty accurate. Like if I wanna take it of these trees right here, I'll just 
point my, my phone towards it and it'll tell me a, a good lighting setting for, for my film camera. If I'm walking around with my camera and my DSLR, my Nikon, I will take advantage of the fact that I have my DSLR and just put it to those settings. Or you can even just buy a light meter and just use that and bring it around with you. But I've been doing pretty well with just the app on my phone or if I am just carrying my DSLR with me. Film photography has just been something that has made me really, really happy and made me learn a lot about the world around me and noticing more and taking in more. It just, it makes me live in the moment more and it makes me slow down because with each picture and the film and getting it developed, it costs money. So it really makes you take a step back and like really look at what you want to shoot. You're not clicking away like, or at least what I do with my DSLR, I, I really stop for a moment and make sure I really love the shot or like, you know, move around to make sure it's, it's what I really want to capture. If you're interested in shooting, then I highly recommend it. So the exciting thing is the more that you practice and the more time that you put into it, you will work towards finding your eye, which that is really exciting because your eye is unique to you and it's like your own creative vision that you get to put out into the world. There was this video that I watched, actually within the last week, um, there's this photographer that I follow on Instagram, her name is Brooke Shaden, posted on her Instagram that she made like a little video and she talks about how expectation is the death of creativity, which is so true. I really loved that video because she talks about how how when you're like five years old and you're doodling, you pretty much just doodle without like having any expectation of like this is going to be framed or hung in a gallery or whatever it is. And you just listen to like your inner self that just has no boundaries and you just do what makes you happy and just listen to your inner five-year-old artist and go out and create what makes you happy. Also the fact that when you go out and create and spend more time doing it, you don't just learn about photography, you learn about life and you learn about yourself. And um, yeah, we live in a very beautiful world, so you might as well go out and experience it. So happy shooting. I love you, I love you, and I will see you next week. I love you.